Hello, this is Kyren Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes and please leave what does not. Eight of Swords here out first. Seven of Pentacles. It looks like the reason why somebody is not going further with something is because they're stuck in their ways. Somebody here is stubborn. Somebody here is stubborn. Somebody here is in their own way. When it comes to some type of money, something that they've done in the past for a very long time and they're just not trying to change okay but somebody knows that if they change they will go further okay if they change they will go further but it's like they just keep hitting a wall here okay it's true that they have to change they know that they have to change but it's one thing to know something and it's a whole nother thing to do it Okay. so this person knows though they know that they're stuck in their ways they know that they're not moving forward it kills them that they're not moving forward but it's like they just don't it's just very stubborn like i it's very hard for me to explain somebody's stubborn ways um because when you're stubborn you, it don't matter what it is like you're just not moving forward you can use any excuse but you just don't move forward Hold on, let me fix this. Okay. But yes, this person knows. This per person is very aligned with... I think somebody here has told them. Somebody here has told them. And it still has hurt their feelings, but it's the truth. It's the truth. And it's it really, really hurts because this person is still, like, stuck in their mind. Like, you have two swords here. You got seven of pentacles and then you have a cup oh wait what you got here you got the knight of pentacles and then you have the devil okay let me get one more out here to finish this because what's surrounding this it's like whoever this is they have a love for whatever it is that they do or if this is some type of relationship they have a love for this person, but this person or them did not change. It's like, how can I say, like, if you don't move forward, you get left behind. And that is what's happening, whether this is a business or this is a relationship. When you don't improve your business, you get left behind by the other people that choose to. When you don't improve your relationship and when you don't change your ways of thinking and change your ways of treating people, okay, like your lover they like when that person is trying to move forward and they're trying to better themselves and you're trying to stay the same how is that going to you know it's like breaking your heart it's like the craziest thing the only reason is breaking your heart is because you could not muster the strength to overcome what this is and this is the devil card here okay you've been this way a long time knight of pentacles and the devil You've been on this path a long time, okay? You've been walking this way a long time. You've had this monkey on your back a long time. You've had this entity feeding off of you for a long time. And it has kept you stuck. It has kept you stuck. And this has kept, this is, okay, let me, I said I was trying to get this one more card. Because I know that, I just wanted one more. I just wanted one more, please. Just one more. Just one more, please. I know that this is about two people. I saw two court cards. Okay. I'm not trying to disrespect spirit. But. I think that. No that was a confirmation. Okay. No because I got to have respect. This shit ain't no joke. Um, Let me get one more next to this devil. The ace of pentacles here. It's like literally that's. It's like this entity or whatever this is. This is. This is you now. It has overcome this person. And that's, it's so crazy. This person is trapped 
within themselves. There's something else that has more control over this person. And it's sad because within this person, their soul resides within there. Their soul is aware of the love and the care and everything that has been given to them and everything that has been shown to them. But because they refuse to move forward, because there's this thing that has such a strong hold on them, because not everybody believes in devil energy. And those are the people that be the most messed up. I'm just being honest. Look, we are all human beings on this earth, okay? We are made up of the same skin and bones and the soul. Everybody here can have some shit attached to them if they're not aware of it. I don't care what religion you are. You can have shit attached to you that is controlling you more than your own soul. And that is what happens to this person. This person gotta be old. If they're not old, okay? If they're not, I'm, let me shut up. Cause old is, that's, I don't want to be disrespectful to nobody. But this has to be a older person, okay? It has to be a more mature, per, well mature is not the word. It's about age. Because this person has been like this a long time or this is something that has crossed over from past lives and they still didn't fix it. That's what I'm more so getting because once it becomes in more control than your own soul, okay, which is this Ace of Cups, once it becomes more in control than your own soul, you're just at the mercy of your what you think they're emotions or thoughts. You're just at the mercy of it. You're like in the back seat and this energy is driving your car. And that's the energy that I'm getting right here. Like this person does not see clearly. This person does not see the things as it really is. They see it as they want to see it and they're getting left behind as a result because don't nobody got time for that. People are trying to heal. People are trying to improve. People are trying to align. And you want to you want to keep serving people with this same energy. Like, it's like a filter. Look at this. It's like when you try to bring, when this devil energy, like this devil energy might even think that they're helping, right? Devil energy in the middle, okay? Now follow me on this. You got the knight of pentacles here, but then you see how this pentacle, you see how the knight has a pentacle and then it filters through the devil and then the de it's the hand that gives you the pentacle. It's like no matter what, this person is very controlled. So whatever this person does, it's not of their own accord. They don't even be knowing that they be messing shit up. They don't even be knowing that they're like toxic and that they're killing people and that they're they're hurting people. And it's just no matter what, no matter what somebody brings to this devil, this devil always transmutes it into some bullshit. And people are tired of that. People are tired of this devil putting their own twist on everything or their own reason behind everything. Or this is the type of person that uses money to get them places and it's not gonna work no more. The old shit that this devil, like I'm so over this energy y'all. The old shit that this devil was doing, it's not working no more. And because they're stuck in their ways, okay? People are not moving forward with them. Their money is not gonna move forward, okay? Or this has to do with their actual body because pentacles is also the body because it is 3d and pentacles are 3d pentacles is the element of earth and earth is the element that everybody here is familiar with everybody on this earth is familiar with the earth element because earth element is what you can see is what you can taste is what you can feel is what you can like be or what you can manifest it all has to be earth it's not manifested until it goes into the earth energy most people are not familiar with the other elements like fire, water, air. They're not, they know the names of it, but they're not familiar how that plays a part in making this. Look, I'm getting deep into this. <laughs> Let me get something under this eight of swords here. Because now that I got the picture of who this person is, it's like, I, I, this is the kind of energy like, Whoever this is, whoever this is for, I know how you feel. I know you feel like, well, what the hell am I supposed to do because this person is not changing and I just can't do it no more. You are not wrong to feel like that. You're absolutely right. That is spirit screaming to you that you can't do nothing to help this person because this person is not helping themselves. 
this person is not helping themselves and there's really nothing that you can do about it i'm just being honest with whoever this is that this reading is for you need to just go on and just let it on go because you keep trusting this energy and no matter how sincere they may come across or no, no matter how much love you think they have within them and all that no matter what comes through this energy this entity always finds a way to twist it to something it's just twisted i don't even know how to say whatever comes through this energy within this person even if this person thinks that they have good intention the energy attached to them always twists that shit okay i'm trying to tell you it's a real thing it's a real thing to have things attached to you you got the knight of wands here it's like they're trapped in their own ways and the way that they move forward it's like it's like somebody being trapped in their own ways and they have a gun in their hand, okay? And if you don't do what they say, they're going to take you out. They're going to run you right over. Knight of Wands is a very fast moving energy. It's a very fiery energy, very passionate, very I want what I want when I want it and I'm going to get it right now, okay? It's very like that. And for somebody to have all these blind spots... And all these old ways of thinking and old ways of being and shit like that, for somebody to be in that kind of energy and move fast, that's very stubborn. It's very, very stubborn. It really tells me somebody doesn't think before they move, before they, before they do anything. They don't think. They only operate by old ways of thinking or old things that gave them pain old uh traumas and things like that that's where they operate from that's where they jump that's where they leap from like their soul leaps if it's something that looks like from the past it could even resemble it just a little bit it's a trigger for this person and this person leaps and that is what has to be left behind and they're not changing it they're not changing it they probably want to change it but they're not identifying it they're not you sitting here fighting a war and you don't even know what you're fighting. You got the moon card here underneath this seven of pentacles. Okay. So there, this is a lot of things from the past that are fears. These are a lot of things that happened in the past. Okay. This person is like this because they've been through a lot and I understand that. But that's no excuse to harm the people that surround you. That's no excuse to give bullshit to the people that's around you. You know, it's no excuse. It's no excuse. And you're not not and this person is not acknowledging that they have a problem or that for real, you got something attached to you. You need some type of like spiritual help with this devil card here. For real, you need some type of spiritual help to get it off. OK, because it's not something that can be overcome. It's like you got the devil card and you got this. This is somebody that's being eaten alive. They don't even know. Look at it for real, y'all. Like, look at this. And then you got the devil card here. For real, this is somebody that's being eaten alive and they don't even know it. Maybe they don't even believe in it. Maybe because that's why I said that right at the beginning. Maybe they don't believe in it. Okay? And because they don't believe in it, it's giving full reign to this devil energy. I mean, look at it. Being chained to the devil. For real. All that black in the card, darkness, they're darkness and they're blindfolded. Imagine that in the dark and you're blindfolded with some shit attached to you. Okay. But yeah, this moon card, they're not seeing, like they're not understanding why things are the way they are or why people are maybe moving away from them or why things are not moving forward there it's like they don't they don't really understand why it's like it's hidden from them this is the craziest stuff this is the craziest stuff right here it's literally hidden from their own subconscious like i feel like this person has some type of curse on them i'm not even going to lie because if you if your third eye is closed like that and you are in darkness and you are blindfolded and you can't see why shit is not moving forward. You can't see that there is some type of entity that wants to keep you stuck. They cannot see it and they're not meant to see it. It's almost like they're meant to be revealed without even knowing that they're being revealed. That's why I say it's this. Look, these readings be surprising me. 
because I be seeing combinations that, you know, I ain't never seen sometimes. We got a court card. Oh, this is the only, oh, okay, that's the third court card. We got the Queen of Pentacles underneath this, um, this Three of Sword. So maybe it was a feminine person or feminine um, figure in this person's life that told them or maybe that hurt them or maybe it's this queen of pentacles that's actually hurt behind all of this maybe it's that but this queen of pentacles has something to do with it too this definitely has some something to do with opportunity or money or group or some type of work setting okay because sometimes you know you love the people that you work with sometimes right or if there's some type of organization or some type of group it's something that I'm, I'm getting out of this where they're working with some type of money. Because this money is surrounding this devil. You got the Queen of Pentacles right here. And then you got the Seven of Pentacles right here. I know this is something that has to do with the 3D. I know that this is something that is material. Something that is manifested. Something that, let's say, the Queen of Pentacles and this devil energy like have in common or they have together. It's something that is... It's some type of conversation or some type of truth that came out. And I really think that this queen of pentacles is looking at their fears surrounding it's like i feel like this queen of pentacles did not want to accept it that's what i'm getting when i look at this i feel like this queen of pentacles did not want to accept it because she's like right next to the moon and that's a very hard energy let's say for an earth queen an earth queen is focused on the things of the earth okay it's not to say that the earth queen is not spiritual it's that they're not mostly familiar with that. They're mostly familiar with the things that they can see and what they can manifest and that kind of stuff. But there's some fears surrounding the fact that, okay, it's like this person is not moving forward and there's fear surrounding that. It's like, damn, I got to leave this person behind. There's fear surrounding that idea that this person is not changing, that this person has things attached to them. There's so many fears attached to that when it comes to this Queen of Pentacles, but this Queen of Pentacles has no choice but to accept the truth here. Let me get something under this Ace of Pentacles. I mean, Ace of Cups, I'm sorry. Under the Ace of Cups is judgment here, okay? That's Gabriel waking everybody up. That's the last call, waking you up out of your sleep, and this person is not getting the call because they're stuck in a dungeon blindfolded. Like, I'm dead ass serious, for real, for real. They're not seeing it. They're not seeing the call. They're not gonna hear it. Like, I mean, if, like, if there was a call from God, when I tell you that this person this person's phone is disconnected like they do they're not going to heal they're not going to hear the call they're not hearing the call they are too like blackened their soul is too blackened okay even though they can still have a heart even though they are a soul they let those entities take over them okay whatever it is they let those entities take over them they let those entities decide things for them i'm trying to tell you this is the Knight of Pentacles bringing something in his hand. It goes to the devil and then the hand comes out of nowhere from the devil. This devil like filters things through. You got the Page of Cups underneath the Knight of Pentacles. <sighs> okay, let me get something under this devil before I say... I just really don't feel like they're going to make it. Like whoever this is... I really feel like they're going to get left behind here. I really feel like telling this queen not to feel sorry, um, not to feel no type of way, um, to definitely have faith in the future. And, you know, you got to start thinking about you. And then you got the sun card here. And the sun card burns the devil. The sun card burns the devil. That's like the father right there. We'll burn through the whole devil. We'll burn through, we'll light up this whole entire darkness in this card. The sun card will burn through everything. Everything will disappear. Okay? That means that this devil card, this devil person has been revealed. This energy that is on them has been revealed. It has been seen. Okay? By, I guess, this queen of pentacles. I guess this queen of pentacles, like... You know, I really think that she is in her emotions about this. I really think that she's trying everything to, like, give this person benefit of the doubt. I really feel like that with this Page of Cups energy, after this judgment, it's like you can't feel sorry if people didn't get the call. You can't feel sorry. And that's what I'm getting from this Page of Cups because the Page of Cups cares, like, too much. The Page of, Page of Cups don't know, like, you know 
people get their shit. People get their karma. The Page of Cups is more of the emotion of feeling sorry or feeling like, how can I say? This is the energy that could watch somebody. Okay, this is just an example, okay, y'all? This is just an example. This is the energy, like the Page of Cups after the judgment is the energy of somebody that you're watching go to jail, okay? You're watching this person go to jail for, let's say, shooting one of your family members, killing one of your family members, okay? You're watching this person go to jail and you feel sorry for them. That's the kind of energy that the judgment and the Page of Pentacles is giving me right now. It's giving me that you're not understanding, like you have to come out of feeling sorry for people that's not getting the call, that didn't get the call, that didn't listen, that didn't want the call. Like you can't make somebody wake up. They are the ones that have to get the monkey off their back. They are the ones that have to make the decision. You cannot look back. Because I see this Page of Cups looking at this judgment card. You cannot look back. When it's time for like, to rise up or when it's time for you to wake up and other people ain't woke to they ain't get the call so you gotta you know you gotta do what you gotta do here you gotta do what you gotta do here but yeah it has 100 you can't you can't feel sorry for them because it has 100 percent 100 been revealed that everything that this devil energy was trying to do was always trying to undercut somebody was always trying to hurt somebody no matter if they like i'm telling you anything that will come through this devil card it would go through not devil card but this devil energy it would go through the person and then it would turn into something bad and if they gave it to you it's going to hurt you like it's the energy of like if this person does something for you it's going to turn out a terrible way versus how it was supposed to turn out or if this person gave you something, it actually brought you bad luck and it was, you know, you thought it was going to bring you good luck type shit. No matter what gets filtered through this person, it's the same, it's the same thing. You cannot take nothing from this person. You cannot take nothing from this person. And I'm going to say it again. You cannot take nothing from this person because it's always going to flip on you. Okay? It's always going to flip on you. I'm going to leave it right there. If you like the way that I read, 22, 22 on the clock. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your like, shares, and subscribe so far. I really, really appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I will be back with another reading later. Bye.